Welcome to Pro Kitchen Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to use basic modifications. First thing that we need for basic modifications is a cabinet to modify, and I have a full design of cabinets over here. So we're going to pick on this base 30, and we're going to do some modifications to it. First thing we want to do is we want to right click on our cabinet and select the cabinet from the list. From this list, we want to drop down to Attributes and click on Attributes. Now a new window will pop up. It will show our cabinet in the right hand screen and under the General tab, it gives us all the basic cabinet modifications. Now we can move this around by moving our mouse into the window and holding down our right mouse button and moving our mouse button around. You'll also notice here that our width, depth, and height for the Showplace catalog are grayed out, meaning you can't change those from here. And if your manufacturer offers depth modifications, most likely these will be grayed out, forcing you to use a modification to change your dimension. We want to click on the Modifications tab, and under the Modifications tab, you'll see all the modifications available from the manufacturer. And this is a Showplace catalog, so they've got a nice selection of modifications. Some catalogs have many, many more. Some catalogs have many, many less. Just depends on what your manufacturer offers. So to change the size of a cabinet, we can come in here to our sizing modifications. Depth, height, and width is what we want to change here. And here you can see we've got increased depth base. To add this, we'll highlight it and click the arrow over button. Once we click the arrow over button, we get a new window that asks us what we want that depth to be. So here we simply type in the new depth using our arrows. We see the change in real time right here, and when we're happy, we click OK. Now you'll see up here that is highlighted and added. Now if we want to remove this, we can simply click on the back button and it takes it right back off. We're going to close our sizing window. I'm going to take a look at end panel modifications real quick. And we want to go to decorative end. And here we're going to add a decorative panel. And here you can choose your door amount. And we're going to click the arrow over button. And here we'll see it added a decorative panel on both sides. So a little indicator for you, if they're showing in red, that means there's a 3D of the item and it will show up in the 3D of the cabinet. If they're in black over here, like interior modifications, veneer and interior, you notice these are all black. So if I add one and we rotate around here, and we open the doors, you'll notice that there's no change to the cabinet. So I want to take that back off. I want to take off my decorative panels because this is an inline cabinet and surely doesn't need them. So I hit my back over button. And this is how simple and easy it is to add modifications to your cabinet. This has been Pro Kitchen How to Add Modifications video tutorial. Thank you for watching.